all okay. day. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Merch Talk. We are back. Not on Wednesday, but that's cool. We're here. This is like the old time. Old times, right? The old days. The old days. Everybody's here. Yay. 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 Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Woo. We're doing good. Awesome. I'm doing great. Yeah, things are really good. How, how have sales been? We were talking a bit before we started about sales and things. So how have your sales been? Youngest uh, first. Slow. Youngest first? Who's the youngest? Let's not go there. I believe I'm almost, No, I'm almost 40. I'm 38. I'm, Aww, I'm, so cute. I'm, I'm not you're, the youngest. I think he's the youngest. You're the baby. Really? Yeah, the baby. Hey, the girl. Oh, great. No, um, I've been doing good. I, I'm actually going to pull up my numbers now. I've been doing really, really well, I guess, this this month. Uh, not as good as the previous month. But things are starting to pick up. After the mid-month, I've been doing well. Also, um, Printful's definitely picking up again. So uh, it's been pretty good. I don't, have any num I don't have any numbers in front of me, but oh, that's cool. th things are steady. Things are steady. Yeah, I heard that Etsy's doing really good for a lot of people. Yeah, like there. Cool so. Yeah, there's a lot of things that needs that people need to do to to kind of make that work with like SEO. And for some of you don't know, there's like market. There's a marketing tab, and I highly suggest people look into putting maybe a couple dollars a day into the 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 marketing, the Google one, and the promoted listings because that that does help. And don't you get a lot of like analytics or? things in there you can see to use for keywords and stuff yes oh my god like the the analytics that are inside of etsy yeah they, they give it to you for free and it, it's so it, it it i love the keyword thing the keyword analytics is probably one of the best things they have and it's one of the one of the things that a lot of people don't talk about but it's free and you can see basically what people are searching for and then use that to determine how you're going to title your title what you're going to put in your description it's really cool yeah, it's totally, I mean, because they'll tell you exactly what people typed in to hit on your shirt, you know, or what, if it's, you know, whatever it is. So. I've been using that, and I see what they're searching for, so I go add some of my decals that match that and some of my shirts, so. Yeah. yeah. I love it. It's pretty good. Love it. It's good. I have, I have another Etsy thing, but I was going to wait to you guys finish your numbers. My numbers were awesome. I am now four away from my all-time record of 198 one month. That was last December. So that means I'm also six away from the 200 mark. And I've been averaging 10 a day. And I even had an 18 day that's this week. What? Ooh, nice. Oh, gosh. Yeah, somebody bought five of one shirt on Etsy. It's awesome. Wow. I'm oh, no. I, yeah, I had a five on one shirt on Etsy, but that wasn't part of the 18. So yeah, I had 18 on merch plus the five on Etsy. That's awesome. So I have been a, a good month and that's good because I've been spending without looking at my bank account the past two months. And I looked at my bank account this week and went, crap, I need to cut back. <laughs> Did all the aquaponic stuff? Yeah, I just went and bought a bunch of fish this week and that's gonna be it for a while. Isn't it a tax write off though? If you're like- If I sell something. But you're making videos about it. Yeah. yeah no 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 she's right yeah yeah you have to structure it correctly and that's the path you should go down because if you're if you're a content creator on youtube anything that you you're making money so anything that you do and this is not tax advice for anyone out there go and double check this um you can definitely write off a ton of that stuff for sure or even a portion of it you know what i mean yeah. well i'll like, definitely be looking into it because it's all gonna go on next year's taxes but yeah. If I sell the, any of the vegetables and I sell any of the fish, it's a definite. Yeah. I, mean, I bought uh, a bunch of bluegill yesterday, so they're going to go for sale when they get big. Like, like if, I were, if I were a video creator that used my hands in my videos all the time, and I get my <laughs> nails done cause, because my business needs me to have nice looking hands, that would be like a tax right now. Exactly. We used to write off our Disneyland passes because I, when I did a lot of art, I did a lot of uh, – Disney customs and I was actually working with Disney for a while and we were able to write off like all that kind of stuff hotels Disney passes like everything because it had to do with the research and everything for the business. It was great <clears throat> With your tax advisors though, just saying 
Yes, right. definitely double check with your CPAs and all that. Don't yeah. take our advice. I'll double check with Google in my conscious. Because <laughs> they are my tax people. Yeah, I'll search YouTube for tax tips. <laughs> all right, Joe, how's your numbers? Uh, my numbers are way better than they were all this year so far. So that's great. They're picking up. They're uh, still slow. I've been upload trying to upload as many shirts as possible. Uh, by the end of today, I'll have uh, over fifteen hundred live, so that's good. So. Ooh, that is good. Yeah. So yeah. mine are. I mean, I, again, I don't want to complain, but they're nowhere near what they have been. Um. So yeah, I mean, I may, I'm, I'll probably end up doing better than last month, but it's still like I've sold one hundred and thirty-five shirts on merch. But it, I mean, most of my days are like three, four, five. You know, I had one nine day, so it's okay. But again, with the uploads, you know, I've really been using that Merch Lister Pro. If you're at the point where you're uploading or scaling designs, I really highly recommend it. So, um, I mean, I'm only averaging like three to four shirts a day. You know, I guess I should be happy about that, but it just seems so low from what it was last year. But then yeah. I also posted my numbers from last year and i even showed the the chart that gives you in pretty merch mm -hmm. like january through april they were like really low then after it from may till december they were all over pretty much over a hundred so okay. this time last year okay well you know what i should shut my mouth <laughs> <laughs> well i mean really look, i'm looking at the chart for here i'll screen share my chart from this time last year it did the same exact thing here so here's my chart from this is the beginning of time um but so like in from january to march there was a huge drop you know this is last year and so then again now again it went up and then january to march this year it was a big drop but it's still better than it was this time last year yeah that's what mine looks like too how it goes up just like exactly like that and then in the summertime and then down in the fall and then up the q4 so we'll see and you know what? I, I've worked in like retail, and that's kind of like how it goes, anyways. You know, I mean, it's they have ups and downs big time. So, oopsies, I'm still screen sharing me. Yeah, <laughs> you said oopsies. <laughs> oopsies. Oopsies. Oh, you said merch pro lister, and so I kind of wanted to bring up that warning that I mentioned to you guys in the chat that somebody pointed out that in Amazon's TOS FAQ, whatever. They say you cannot use scripts for bulk uplisting, uploading. Amazon, I don't know how they catch it. I don't know anything about that. I'm just putting that out as a warning that you could lose your account if you're caught using a bulk uplist loader. But is it a script it's using? It's a program. Hmm. Programs okay. are a collection of scripts. Okay. I'll ask somebody. Uh, uh, it's just a warning. I, I'm not saying it either way. I don't know. What happened? Somebody pointed out when I, I did something on I posted the toss and oh, okay. an FAQ there says, Can I use a script to bulk uplet? And Amazon oh. says no. So I'm just putting it out there as a warning to people who are using those programs. I'll ask the dude. The dude? The dude, in, the dude, like the dude. No, the guy that's in charge of the merch list pro guy. No, I mean, that's, no, you can do that because you're not bulk, bulk, um, you can't bulk upload anyways. You're just, you're uploading one at a time. I yeah. mean, that's all it is. You're just filling in the blanks. Yeah, you're just filling in the blanks. That's all that is. Bulk be, will be yeah, like. There's not, there's not like you can upload 100 at a time or anything. I mean, no, you're just awesome. doing one at a time. That's true. Yeah, one at a time. So, yeah. So it's not no bulk at all. In the blanks, one at a time. Yeah, there you go, Brenda. Brendan's. Yeah. This is true. I just would toss it out there. Well, you can toss it out there. I'll catch it, and I'm going to use it. Domination. Anyway. I'm always I've been using it for a while. I mean, I'm good. I'll let you know if I lose my account. <laughs> yeah, we haven't. Well, we haven't heard any like negative things about that yet, but Jeff's right. Always do your due diligence. Yeah. Um, TOS is sometimes a gray area with a bunch of different things. So definitely. Maybe we get him on sometime and pick his brain or maybe yeah. I just have to. And a lot of times with Amazon, you can 
get away with things for a long time. You think it's okay. You're just getting away with it. And then it catches up. And then when you get, I've seen people finally get booted and they wonder why. And so I'm just. Well, yeah. I mean, but then there was that whole big, you know, well, I remember a while back the same deal came out with like, oh, don't use Merch Informer for the same reason. Like there was, there's like this, it's the conspiracy theories again. You know? <laughs> well, Merch Informer, because it is, they were asking for people's, I forget what it was. Those but, API yeah, keys. Yeah. They fixed it. They fixed it so no longer does that. But again, that was against Toss, but, and people are getting away with it, but they fixed it before anything happened. So. Okay. Well, I just don't want to put out a scare because no, we don't know that anybody's gotten in trouble for using no. our we don't. I like your vote. Thanks. I'm I'm geeking it up today. And Tardis. Yeah, that's my Tardis bow. We got that in a jewelry jar <laughs> or in a Goodwill. My point was just be aware. I'm just putting it out there that it is there. Do your own research if you think you're okay. Great. Ah. Diane in the, in the chat says Yong is raving about a new yet to be released uploader that will do several platforms at once. Oh, I'll have to talk to him about that. Yeah, definitely. And by the way, we are now officially simulcasting to the blockchain with DLive. Right. Does Ooh. that mean that like aliens get to see us? That's right. In another in the fourth dimension. Fourth so dimension. That. Yeah, I think I saw Young talking about that. Oh, by the way, uh, there's going to be a um, a meetup on I want to say April seventh. There's going to be a California meetup, and so I'll uh, I'll let you guys know more about that uh, next week. I think. Yeah. Where? It's in Glendale, California. Not too far. Yeah. Where is that? Glendale's like the city next to us in Burbank. Is that south? Is that in the middle? South. It's more east. It's like east. I thought everything in California is pretty close. It is. It's the cities next door to me. That the, They were going to originally have the meeting in my city, which I thought was pretty funny. I'm like, oh, that's so great. <laughs> but they moved it to the city over because I, I think uh, there's going to be a pretty good amount of people and they need like a, the, to reserve a space. So, um, and I forget what, what group that is that that's listed in. Hold on a second. But yeah, so there's a, there's a Cali meetup and just to let you guys know, to put that on your radar, I'll look more into that right now. Is it hard to go somewhere? Not because of how far it is, but just how long it takes because of like traffic and stuff. Is that why? Uh, well, yeah. Traffic sucks. Like how, like if you want to drive like thirty miles away, does it take like a couple hours or? Oh no. Well, yeah, maybe LA it does. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes. For okay, me, so I mean, the beach is thirty mi thirty minutes away from me, but straight by freeway, or twenty three minutes. So I mean, it takes me twenty three minutes to get there. But in LA, if I land of freeways, it might take a little bit more. Okay, so the Facebook group is Merch Empire California Edition, and it is uh, April seventh. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. So definitely check that out. It would take me an hour and a half to probably get from my house to, up to Glendale. Dang. And it's all freeway. Oh no, it would take longer than that, Jeff. <laughs> no, I get I, I get to Disneyland in about an hour, less Man, than an hour. You I guys, I, yeah, they, I'm sure there's some merch hardcore people who are going to be driving a long way for that. Yeah, I drove. <laughs> I. I drove to Comic Con one year, and oh my god, it took me six hours to get there from Los Angeles to San Diego. Did you go during a weekday? Yeah, dude, it was nuts. Yeah, it was like awesome. bumper to bumper traffic. It was like a Friday, at like at four or five at night, dude. It was. Uh, yeah, that's what. <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have me in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City media pretty soon. So yeah, I, yeah, I, you I, can do that. I had one before. I actually had one. Um, I think last year I had some people from like. Nebraska drive here and like Dallas. I was like, dang, it's crazy. I tried to get there, and then one of my kids started puking. We were in Dallas. <laughs> Stop the Pixie girls in San Diego. Huh? Pixie girls in San Diego. It's only an hour and a half or so up there. Joe, are you what? going to Austin this summer? Yeah, I am. Maybe we can try. To, maybe we can try to do a meetup during that sometime. Yeah, yeah, we can. And the seventh is a Saturday, so traffic will be a little bit better. That'll be good. But my daughter's got a competition that day, so I couldn't go anyway. Do you know if Glenn? Do you know if Glenn's going to Austin this summer? I, I'm sure he is. Okay, that'd be good. I bet we could rope him in. 
Yeah. <laughs> That'll be fun. Cool. Ooh. Merch app's out. What? Merch, not merch. I'm sorry. Printful app is, I heard, is out. Have you played with it yet? Oh, I've been beta testing it for months. How is it? Is it good? I did a video on it. It's it's I good. You, for, I'm boycotting it, your channel until you do oh, the yeah. video about the all over print. <laughs> I mean it. It's good for what it does, but it doesn't do much at this point. You can look at and track your orders right now is about it and contact Printful. I can do and that. It's well. I get the cha-ching on Etsy. Yeah. But well, that's if you like have a website like me, you need a cha-ching for it. Or yeah. you can <laughs> get an eBay cha-ching, get a Printful cha-ching, <laughs> and then get a PayPal cha-ching. Did y'all get that, that pretty merch app? I, I erased it. It kept crash it kept crashing on my iPhone and then on my iPad. You have to log in every half hour and it doesn't remember your password. No, that would annoy me. Yeah. Oh, that, that's why I I'm sorry, I, I used it for like half a day when I first started and I had to keep logging in and I was like, this is stupid. <laughs> yeah. I think I mentioned another video that or show if they would activate the fingerprint on the app, which is available. I don't know why they didn't do that. That would make it so sweet. You just put your fingerprint, it logs you in. And oh, that would be fun. In for an hour. And you're okay with all the other things that you get paranoid about. You're okay giving your fingerprint to these apps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the, the fingerprint doesn't go into the apps. The fingerprint only stays on your phone. Yeah, if it's, uh, yeah, Brenda said, yeah, if it's, it's okay on the computer, yeah, it's fine on the computer. It's just not on the phone. It doesn't work. I couldn't even bring it up on the phone. I just kept crashing every time I tried to load it, so I just erased it. Yeah, so. Try again. I don't even know who owns that. Who owns that? I don't even know who owns Pretty Merch. Oliver. Isn't it Oliver? No, it's not Oliver. What's his name? I don't know, but the app, the Chrome app is awesome. I mean, like I said last week, it's the best Chrome, best Merch extension I've had. Yeah, used. yeah, it's great on Chrome. I enjoy it on Chrome. What do you, okay, what are your top three? Top three merch apps or extensions or plugins or whatever. Top three. Ready for that? Ready right, for that? Three. So it'd be Pretty Merch, Merch Informer, and uh, Unicorn Smasher. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't been using that one lately. How about you? Y'all still thinking? I like uh, <clears throat> oh, extensions or apps or anything. Yeah, your top three things that you use for merch. I use Merch Informer and I use. Uh, uh, pretty merch, of course, and then I mean those are the main two, I guess. And then on my apps, I use the vintage app design, and then I also use uh, over. Yeah. The over app. Those are the main main two on the. Um, if I'm on, if I'm going mobile, so yeah. So. I don't. I don't use anything. I'm like the anti mercher, like I've said before. Um, well, I just years. I'll do my top six. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no! I was just saying, like, if look look look, if I can be successful without using any of that crap, you guys can too. You know, it's for me. Of course, all the stuff they're talking about makes your life so much easier. But I'm a masochist. I love pain. So there's that. No, I mean th that none of that we've is really that, all that stuff is really new, and I've used it without it this whole time, and I just it doesn't it doesn't bother me either way. So I mean, if I don't use it, it's not a big deal. If I use it, it's fine either way. It doesn't matter. Right. I'm, I mean, I'm sure I can two x my business or whatever the hip kids are saying these days, ten x whatever. But um, yeah. I mean, it's just I I just haven't got around to using them, and, and I'm freaked out about all the kind of the back end with the coding and all that stuff. I, I'm just like, nah, it's cool. Yeah, nobody that's true. true. Is that the thing? What? Nobody. What? What? Nobody what? Nobody says 10x or 2x. Oh, well then you didn't, you haven't been you're you're okay, yeah. Then yeah. I'm gonna 1x my business this month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just I'm gonna use that. That's a good that's a good one, Margaret. What is everybody out there? What do you guys use for your like Chrome <laughs> extensions yeah, yeah. or apps or anybody in the chat? What do y'all use? Mine for, are pretty merch, merch lister pro. What was the other one? Merch Informer. And I'm going to throw Make Merch in there because I play with it all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make, I forgot about those. Yeah. There's so many, you know, I can't get around to them all. Those are my main, my main ones. Yeah. Yes, they do. 
looking in the chat. If you're watching later, the chat's to the side over there. If you guys have any questions, pop them in there. I haven't seen any. Some weeks we get a bunch of questions. Some weeks we don't get any questions. 10X is huge in sales. Browser <laughs> yeah, that's what the that's that's like the whole that's like a whole sub genre in itself is 10xing. I get I don't know. It's just whatever. That's not for me, anyways. Okay. Did you 10x or do a 10x shirt? I'm sure there's a million of them if you search for it in your fancy apps, <laughs> in your fancy third party apps. Shirts 10x. Okay, Diane Craig is asking, what is the app that goes to Ching when you get a sale? On the computer, mine is pretty merch. Yeah, pretty merch on the computer. Yeah. My now on, on my Etsy, when I do the printful Etsy, Etsy goes to Ching when I sell something on on there. So yeah. And then ah Al says Amazon removed my pretty merch. You just have to reinstall it. It's not a big deal. Oh, 10X is kind of a brand by Grant Cardone. I don't know who that is. Yeah, Grant Cardone's like a Gary V type guy. You know, entrepreneur like, oh, now you can 10X your business. Da -da -da. It's one of those kind of guys. Oh. Does he have an Australian accent? No, he's he's a white guy and he's definitely a douchebag when you, when you watch his videos. Oh, thanks for that. No, 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 but the guy, he's got some pretty good nuggets that you can pull, but the guy, you can tell that the guy's totally a, a douche. <laughs> yeah, I said it. He's watching. And he's I on Steam. He's on Steam It, too, by the way, Grant Cardone. <laughs> so, Yang and I discovered a, a little hiccup that had us confused for a week with the Amazon Printful integration. Yeah. He, he came to me last week and kind of says, hey, dude. He says that all the time. Hey, dude, um, go to one of your listings and try to add it to the cart, and it doesn't work. And so I did it, and sure enough, when I tried to add my listing to the cart, it wouldn't work. And we were both freaking out because, you know, we haven't had any sales in a while. And so I called Printful or I wrote Printful, and they said, yeah, it works for us just fine. You can maybe talk to Amazon. And then I talked to Amazon, and they put, and it, I got India, of course, or – you know, overseas, and there's like, yeah, it works just fine. And for us too, uh, send a screenshot, send this and that. And after playing with it for, I had sent it to a friend of mine. I said, test it, and he said, yeah, it's working fine for me. And I'm going crap. And what I after playing with it, I finally figured out is um, if you're logged in to Amazon, you can't add you can't add your own printful stuff to your cart. You have to log out to do it, which is weird. This is if you're uploading to Amazon from Printful? From Printful, yeah. And now that I just think about it, I'm wondering if, because I was logged out and it worked fine, I might have one of you test one when you're logged into your Amazon. I'm sure my friend was logged in, so I'm sure it's not a big deal. But yeah, it just seemed like if you can't add your own. You can't do that on Etsy either, though. Like when you're on Etsy and you're, you try to put something of your own into the card or favorite something or heart something. It mm. won't let you, yeah. It was weird because I've only had one Amazon printful sale since I've been doing it, and Young's only had a couple or maybe just one. I don't know. I know he's had at least one. Um, and so we were, like, freaking out because we haven't had a sale in so long, and we thought there was something wrong with it. And so, yeah, that was just weird. Looking in the chat. Yeah, I was looking in the chat, too. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't. I haven't done any uploads to Amazon. From it has improved speed wise, somewhat. Remember, I used to say it take um, over a day, twenty four hours for something to upload, and uh, I I did two this week, and they uploaded in less than six hours. So it may be an improving, and maybe still tweaking and working. It. I was yeah. up, trying to upload the other day, and it was taking forever to. Like I would upload, push, upload a shirt, go find my shirt or design, upload it, and it would take like a couple minutes just for it just to load up for me to go to where I could pick the colors. It was taking forever. I don't know why. Were you on the McDonald's Wi-Fi again? <laughs> no, I don't do that no more. There's Wi-Fi. Just regular Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Home Wi-Fi. Yeah, he's got legit. Home <laughs> Wi-Fi. I got legit Wi-Fi at home. 
<laughs> I got to change my motive. Thank you, Diane. She says, hit the thumbs up. 70 plus watching and only 13 thumbs up. Oh, I need to do that actually too. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, I like I like this video. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay, okay. So on, on Printful, do you, have you guys sold any baby onesies? Yes. yes. I sell quite a few. Okay. What, do you, what do you price yours at? Because I, I, I shared that in one of the groups a while back, a couple weeks ago, and somebody was shocked. And how much I was asking for baby onesies. I pretty much leave it at the default, which is like 21 or 22, I think. Yeah, I think mine's at default also. Me too. Like 25 bucks, right? Long sleeves, I think, are 25. I mean, yeah, like not long sleeves, but, but yeah, I had sold one on eBay just uh, two days ago. Yeah. So, I, yeah, 20 bucks is a short sleeve one. And then the long sleeves, I think, are closer to 25. And so this guy was like, oh my gosh, you sold. 25 is too much. These are oh. custom, custom onesies you can't find in a store. They're yeah. not mass yeah. produced. That's why I said, I was like, and, and I said, the lady bought three. So she spent $75 when she did it. So I have mine priced at $20 even. Yeah, the short, the short sleeves are 20. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I sold a couple. I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like driving a Lamborghini or anything tomorrow selling onesies, but they sell it every once in a while for me. Yeah. I think suits. They're body more like, suits. Do what? They're body suits. But I'm not kind of ones. I'm not listing them right now. Okay. Well, you don't want Gerber to come up and ban your video. Gerber, <laughs> they're quite aggressive. Gerber can come at me. Come at me, Gerber. <laughs> I'll. Yeah. Some at twenty and uh, some at twenty-one ninety-five. Twenty-one twenty-five. Yeah, Ty says, I've had people ask me to make them on long sleeves for 25 Yeah, totally. And that was the thing. The, I had a, I think I mentioned this in one of the other videos. I had like a, it was a trilobite. And I had a rainbow trilobite. And the lady's like, I need one that's just like white on black. Can you do that? And I was like, yeah. Give me two seconds. Yeah, yeah two seconds, literally. <laughs> boom, boom. And, ta. and it was done. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, Jeff, are we boring you, Jeff? Oh, I just haven't been getting sleep lately. Oh, no all, sleep, that Jeff. all that hydroponic stuff. The water outside my window keeps me awake. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you closed the door and it's. Oh, you got a new pump, right? Well, the new pump is actually very quiet. I don't really hear anything anymore, but I love my new pump. <laughs> Gosh, let's just not talk about that. <laughs> Diane in the chat. Says, um, have you tried merch long sleeves? I got one that hangs to my knees. Oh my gosh, no, I haven't ordered one. Have you guys? <laughs> no, no, nope. I sell a lot of them. I might want to move to Austin because it's cold up there, colder than where I am. <sighs> yeah, or I guess it's up in the west. So, so wait, is she saying that the sleeves are long or the bottom part is long? I don't know. Do you have short arms? <laughs> oh no! Or I don't know. Let us know. And yes, Pixie Girl. There's a Printful has an integration direct to Amazon, but you must be a pro seller. You have to pay the forty bucks a month. So it takes a while to be worthwhile. Yeah. So I mean, if you're if you're doing Amazon FBA or Amazon whatever, it's probably a good idea to to at least try it. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's no brainer, but. I just signed back up just to do it, and it's not paying off yet. <laughs> Gina, sorry, she's saying Austin's not cold. It's cold compared to Houston. It's cold. Is I mean, it, how, what's the weather there? Austin, yeah. south of Houston. I don't know. It's that way. It's west. Don't you live in Texas? I do, but it's like okay. Here's the deal. We were just there, and it was cold in the mornings and the evenings. Here, it's like you step outside. Where I'm on, I'm on sea level at the Gulf Coast, and you step outside at oh, yeah, okay. 7.30 in the morning, and it's like 85, 90 degrees, you know, nice. 9 o'clock. And it's like you're walking through the swamp water. Right. Austin is like way drier, way, you know, they're hillier, they're higher. Than where you we are. Be complaining everywhere else. It's snowing. Is that where you want to be? 
<laughs> compared to Houston, Austin, I know it gets hotter there. It gets hot there, but not like Houston hot. Sorry. Yeah, humidity makes it feel like you're wearing a, a wet blanket <laughs> all the time. Okay. Did it get really quiet or is it just you guys? Oh, no. No, no you're talking about uh, Texas weather, so we're just letting you have your time. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I'm talking about right now. Anyway, sorry. In the chat, we were talking about other things. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely. Go ahead. Yeah. But, but, but I was just say, uh, Jeff. Uh, Jeff just posted in the chat to, yeah, definitely go go subscribe to Jeff and and uh, Joe's channel and all that stuff. They they they're doing some really cool stuff with merch. And Jeff definitely has some really great tutorials. And Joe's got some really insightful videos. So definitely go subscribe to them. Don't worry about Margaret. She just posts about jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> I have done about a zillion merch videos. Yes, you have. All the questions there were to answer, so I just let it go. No, Margaret's a great channel. I, I have her on all the time as background noise while I'm working. Oh, well, I, I didn't <laughs> say anything because this is Margaret's channel. The people that are here are pretty much obviously <laughs> already subscribed to her. Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm not listening to Dead Mouse. I'm listening to Margaret. You would rather what? I said, if I'm not listening to Dead Mouse, I'm listening to Margaret. So those are my two background noises. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I will. You're welcome. Well, I was talking to my son. <laughs> no, no, I appreciate it. I do. That that's but honestly, you would think that because they're here, they're subscribed, but in my analytics, more people watch me that aren't subscribed to me than are. Oh, you're right. Absolutely you're right. So anyways, let me let me back up then. Anyone who's watching this, not subscribed to the wonderful Texas Gal Treasures channel, you are missing out on such an amazing wealth of information. Do you want to 10x your lifestyle? Do you want to 10x your business? Do you love jewelry jars? Well, the Texas Gal Treasures show is for you. Subscribe now. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to find my shovel. <laughs> If you want to 1x your business, <laughs> I'm for you. I'm kidding. Oh my gosh. It's too funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. No, I honestly, I think things are starting to pick up in the POD world. Uh, January and February seem to be slow for everyone. And I think, you know, spring is coming. You know, people are going to be outside more wearing t-shirts and that whole thing. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, I'm excited yeah. about ordering some tank tops. What yeah. about backpacks? Oh yeah, I I kind of had a thought. Well, somebody injected the thought in me in one of my posts when I posted about the. Uh, just stop that art. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I saw the look in your face, but they posted on my thread about backpacks. You know, the big hubba bub. Not getting too political, but in Florida, the schools are starting. They're making them wear clear backpacks now. They're not allowed to bring their own backpacks anymore. So do you think that's going to affect backpack sales? Has it become yeah. a national-wide thing? I'm surprised because we, when I taught in Pasadena, we, we had clear, we had to have clear mesh backpacks since forever. For school? For school, yeah, because oh. it was maybe not the best area. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah, no, I think it's – people still wear backpacks to college and – Yeah, I just got me thinking. You know, bike riding. Don't want to push backpacks – Harder. Here, here's an idea for you, Jeff. This is a Jeff. This is a Jeff idea. Jeff, you need to make an all-over print that shows the insides of a backpack, like books and, it's and things weird. like that. <laughs> that would be uh, funny. Someone is gonna, someone's gonna take that idea and they're gonna run with it. I guarantee it. If I knew how to do all-over print, oh, it's easy. You just gotta have a big enough canvas. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> sure. 300 DPI. I think it's like, what, 20 something by 20 something ridiculous. Like, what you're talk, asking me is the patterns. Oh, those are easy to do too. There's plenty of YouTube videos. I think Jeff has a YouTube video about it also. I'm going to go. The one that I want. It's an old one and it's not the easy way to do it. Yeah. I'm going to go find one if Jeff doesn't do it soon. There's one. Yeah. It's called Swatches if you want to YouTube it. I will. That's in that's an Adobe Illustrator, though, correct? Yeah, that's an Illustrator. Though. 
Yeah, you have to use uh, the filters <clears throat> in Photoshop to do it in Photoshop. You can all do uh, all over print designs without swatches. I mean, swatches is just, just to do a pattern, a seamless pattern. You can do an all over print design, you know, with a unicorn or something or a bee. Oh, That'd be a good one. You can you can design it so a bee is you know on the lower corner of the backpack and kind of folds over the sides. AI, how to make swatches in AI? Look, somebody popped up. Thank you. Maybe they can guess I come in. What the hell? That? That's my that's my yeah. text ringtone. Wow. My text soon. It's for Adventure Time. Tell them what's Adventure Time. Okay, for so so those that are in Photoshop, you can use go to filter, go to other, and go to offset. That's a little tip, and basically look for a YouTube video on how to do that. But you got to use the offset option and filters for that. Diane Craig, here you go. No mouse. Was that a Rick and Morty thing? Huh? My that yeah. No, it was Adventure Time. Adventure Time. <clears throat> yeah. One of those one of those weirdo shows. What? I'm a zombie, guys. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Adventure Time is like rated G compared to Rick and Morty. Oh my gosh, I love LSP. I don't watch any of those things. Lumpy Space Princess is my girl. <laughs> it, Adventure Time is still a pretty weird show though. You got to admit. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a bit strange. <laughs> It's so good, though. Whatever. Yeah, no, I mean, it's entertaining for sure. Come on, the Ice King's always trying to, like, kidnap all the princesses and force them to marry him. Yeah, he's oh, he's a weirdo. He's like a perv. Isn't that Mario? <clears throat> no, no, Mario's trying to save the princess. This is different. He's trying to huh. capture them for, I don't know what he's going to do, actually. Yeah, I don't do those things. I watch my superhero shows, and that's it. What's the TV idea out of the clear bag? Yeah, we don't have clear backpack rules here. I mean, there's a lot of s stores and employees have to have clear bags, but. Yeah, I, I don't think so because like I, you know, I still wear backpacks. If I take the kids to the museum, I wear a backpack or if we're going to the Ren Fest or wherever. I don't wear. I don't like to carry a purse. I wear a backpack because I carry everything: snacks and water and all kinds of stuff. So I have like a Harry Potter backpack, but I want to make an Oliver backpack <laughs> and other stuff. I just got another great idea. <clears throat> you should make an Oliver print that has all kinds of like weapons and grenades and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> so at a distance, it looks like you're carrying like a whole arsenal. <laughs> stuff. There you go. I like it. You can just do anything super weird. I have yeah. lots of really inappropriate ideas that I won't share right now. I made well, it. Um, Go ahead, Joe. Uh, did y'all get see the new TOS thing that came out about not making shirts about certain things like guns or? Wasn't that a while ago or was that recent? Violence. I thought that was like a couple weeks ago or something. We just have not ago. promoting violence. You can make them with guns. No, oh, I got a I got a takedown actually from one of those actually now that you say that. What was it? Well, cuz somebody was asking me and they're like, "I like hunting, can I not make any more hunting shirts?" I was just like, I it, it was it was a down syndrome awareness shirt and they took it down. I'm not going to get into exactly what it said. It was actually pretty funny, yeah. but but they took it down because <clears throat> I think they were saying it was it was hateful, which I I didn't get. Like I'm like, "Okay, sure, whatever." What do you what do you guys think about making shirts about awareness, kind of like you know Down syndrome, um, autism, and all these and other you know different things? Do you think that's that's good, or do you think that's like a kind of like a moral thing, or uh, it, it's it's up to you or to decide that, or I mean, are you just yeah? Making... It's a case by case business, you know. I have I a lot of them. I have autism. I have breast cancer. I have fibromyalgia. I have generic. Uh, Chronic pain shirts, lupus, and all that. I mean, people with those conditions <laughs> and stuff will buy them, and somebody's got to make them. You know, it's it's not like you're making fun of them or something, and it's not. I don't know. So I right, mean, it's almost like making like shirts for like climate change or for you know different different things like that, like Earth Day or 
it's a personal choice. If you want to make them, you know, when I do awareness shirts, it's usually someone in my family or someone that I know. It's more of a personal thing. Like, like a lot of my designs, I don't go out looking for like, all right, what kind of charity or what kind of, yeah. you know, disability am I going to try to milk today? I don't, that's not the mindset that I go into it. I when gotta, I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I gotta have that though. Like, I don't feel like, I don't feel right. Make me making like, a cancer shirt i don't know for some reason i just don't you know i'm not gonna make i'm not gonna make that for some reason so still want to make my money off of that so i don't know that's just me yeah no i mean it's like i said it is it we're, we're gonna have this argument about on or not argument but disagreement or, or you know conversation yeah. about this five years from now you know what i mean so it's, true. it's one of those things it's, there's no right answer to be honest yeah yeah that's true there is no right answer you know so Everyone's Someone's love. Here. Why not me? <clears throat> yeah, let Jeff take the take the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I get diagnosed with something new, I make a shirt up. <laughs> <laughs> there, there you go. I gotta make a new one now. I got a new diagnosis. Oh no! Are you all right? <coughs> Today. Today. What is it? What, what's a, a niche you guys are? Um you have seen lately it's been really popular or something that you guys are um you know could go into or not go into or or, or what, what do you think is popular coming up for the summertime that you think people should look out for something we can 10x yes 10x <laughs> maybe like i don't know what out maybe it's summer so it's everybody trying to get out, outdoors so what what's na name one event that you think that could be, possibly be popular for this summer i don't know maybe summer camp stuff i don't know i really don't know that's actually a good idea i never even thought about summer camps yeah, and that's summer a camp. lot of people do go on summer camps yep. i know a lot of people go to church camps you know during the summer the kids do bbs bbs yeah there you go all over the place here. Yeah. i actually made shirts for vbs camps before actually that you mentioned that but we all i did all um the the iron on ones because at the time i didn't there was no merch by Amazon. There was no print on demand. So that's actually pretty funny. I'd make like 200 shirts. I'll iron on, print them out, cut them out. It was crazy. <clears throat> well, I was, I, I was watching the kids choice awards on Nick the other night. And they, there was a lot of fruit like themed stuff, like in the backgrounds when they were, I don't know. So I was just like, Oh, okay. Yeah. That's been popular for a while. Like, fruit, and like floral. Yeah. Too. like florals and fashion have been have been a big thing pops, pops it was like lollipops yeah. and rainbows and i was like okay. actually last summer i sold a lot of uh pineapple shirts pineapples do a pineapple on a shirt and it sold yeah <laughs> you just put pineapple on a shirt and it sold yep it didn't Probably even like say anything a couple hundred times yeah nope i did I that to my sister too when i got her started i was like just stick a pineapple on a shirt yeah and they'll sell i'm not lying i stick I, I think i made one with like yeah 10 different colors of a pineapple and it just they all sold so yeah yeah hope, the, hope they're still up so hopefully they'll sell again so they haven't sold yet but hopefully they will brenda in the chat saying chris green says that hashtag she squats is popular yeah not anymore <laughs> once you mention something it's it's over well, nobody's it's watching over. us there. no 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 but i mean well, <clears throat> if chris green's advertising it then there's oh. gonna be 100 people going after that Nobody's listening here. The sheeple, man. The sheeple. Get your own freaking <laughs> ideas, people. It's so easy. Do I? Mm -hmm, just turn it down. Um, so is it like she squats as in like because she's camping and she can't pee like a boy or like? <laughs> I, thought was, like I thought it was. I thought it was fitness. Oh my god, well, you guys. This thing, but I'm when I think about she squats, I'm like, oh, don't remind me. <laughs> you know. Gross. <laughs> Why is that gross? I'm uh, sorry. I don't I, know. I expect potty talk from uh Jeff. Literal this is literal potty talk. Okay, I'm just saying it's real. Yeah, it's for right. real. We're, shit's for getting real, real folks. Yeah. What, other, uh, what other topics, Margaret, do you think that'd be popular this summer? Are that <laughs> events or things that people do? I'm trying to change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. What do people do in Houston? Our area or wherever they go to the beach they go yes. there's a like um big sandcastle contest that they have here there's one oh, in wow 
Yeah, you I never thought about that. They mm-hmm. shoot guns. They hunt. Yeah, there's a lot of hunting. Hunting. You okay? Hunting. What do I? <laughs> Squatting for that booty. Pixie Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's what they do. Oh, Bigfoot season's coming up. Oh, where's that at? Bigfoot season. Where's Bigfoot season at? I'm sure there's some great Bigfoot shirts if you looked right now. I'm sure there's awesome ones. I actually made a Bigfoot shirt the other day. So. Oh, cool. I think what else we do? I mean, triathlons. My husband's really into triathlons. Yeah. That's a, competitions. That's very niche I think that my all-time niche thing that I got into was noodling. I've talked about it before. And I've sold those shirts, man. It's funny. That's big here in Oklahoma. I mean, that's really every yeah. time I hear about noodling, they always it's always there. I've sold those shirts. I, I was watching Discovery Channel one day and I saw some dude noodling and I was like, I'm gonna make that shirt. And I searched it, there was like nothing. Wow. Um, like nothing. I mean, there was a few shirts, but they sucked. Yeah. But so I was like, I'm gonna take this niche over. Al says I spent all my money on AMS ads and all have lips. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, here's a shirt. I spent all my money on AMS ads and all I got is a stupid shirt. That's what he said. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> Good idea, Chris. I'm, I'm I'm way behind. I'm sorry. It's a 30 second lag here, folks. <laughs> yeah, Donna said disc golf. Yeah, make some shirts for disc golf. There you go. Disc golf? Oh, is that yeah, with frisbee? frisbee? Yeah, frisbee. Yeah. Golf. There you go. That's fun. That's fun. See that? See, th- there's like people complain. They're like, "Oh my god, I'm not getting any sales." But like, I mean, noodling. You looked up and there was no shirts. I mean, there's yep. there's like thousands of millions of things that you can oh, yeah. ideas that you can make i mean that there's no shirts for currently so dude I, mean, I wake up in the morning and i trip over ideas i'm falling over ideas folks i don't know what to do i'm just falling yeah. all over them that is so true i mean there's just a ton of ideas out there so you know what's a great idea a great niche is hydroponics you guys should probably try to to look at that niche and totally no. make shirts of those <laughs> and it's not only about just finding like bigfoot or noodling but what can you can what can you combine that with what other niche can you combine it with i think that's what makes everything better so okay. right yeah here's another thing too if you've got if you're in a large metro little metropolitan area or not you can still look up their website see what like um things that they have going through what their their exhibits like so mine has got this exhibit about knights right no so, no okay i made a night shirt you know there's another one you know wait like, but did you make it in the morning or did you make it at night i made it at night oh, okay I uploaded it in the morning but anyway so so it's things that people are interested in that they're going to learn about or see stuff you know so i made a shirt a night shirt and it sold right so what other i don't know there's just like you said there's so many ideas out there where, where do you look where were you looking up at or is it at? like like because i i get these you know little booklets from the museum or the new oh, okay exhibits in the museum so it's something people are interested in they're <laughs> going there maybe they don't want to buy a shirt while they're there or they want a shirt to wear there for their kid you know yeah, there you go. There's, there's like tons. See, there's tons of ideas. You, know, you just gotta go look for them. So there's one now. My kid. I mean, James keeps talking about wanting to go to this exhibit. It, it just opened right before spring break. It's called Death by Natural Causes, and it's all <laughs> things that'll kill you in nature. <laughs> like everything. Yeah, and so like <laughs> the whole pond. <laughs> it's funny. The, the exhibit. They just open a door to the outside. You just walk right outside. Yeah. And they're like, here, you can die from this air that you're breathing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, okay, you can't do Black Panther stuff, but we just we went to a class at the museum about the Zulu kingdom. Well, yeah, you could do like Zulu shields and stuff, and that's not trademarked, I don't think. You just yeah, maybe. you could do tri- you could do tribal patterns. You can yeah. do. I mean, look at I could I just had a million ideas just from what you just said or no. Yeah. yeah, they're there. They're out there. They're there. What? Name them all. I mean, so just go see what's what people are interested in. Go see, you know, what's going on at the museum. Go see what's going on. What what are the kids' shows talking about? I don't know. Yeah, just like I was watching. Like he wanted to watch the Kids' Choice Awards the other day, so I had to watch it. Oh yeah, there's I, plenty of ideas on TV. Slime. Yeah, 
if, if for example, I was looking up Newling just now, there's only 46 shirts out there. You know, there you go. And only 46 yeah. people noodling. So it's okay. yeah. <laughs> if you don't know what noodling is, you better go look it up first. But yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's like fisting a catfish. That's all it is. Reach your arm up real good. <laughs> Must have bought some catfish yesterday. Should have. Did they? What? Like a noodle in my backyard. <laughs> oh, you're gonna put? You're not eating it? Okay, we eat them here. No, buy them live. Yeah. For the fish tanks. Catfish? Yeah, I bought. I went to the fishery yesterday, and they didn't have tilapia because it's still too cold for them. So I bought a bunch of bluegill. I should have bought some catfish while I was there too. I was gonna say, like, what's the cold temperature fish? Goldfish, koi. Ice fishing. Oh, okay. Ice fishing. <laughs> that's, I don't want frozen fish sticks there. No, that's another niche right there. Ice fishing. You can probably fish. go, go down a million miles down. Yeah, let's that. look it up. We can make fish sticks a thing, right? Yeah, fish sticks. I'll make fish sticks a thing. I'm not a fan of fish sticks. South Park made fish sticks of things already. No. Yeah, look, only uh, 234. If you just type in ice fishing, that's not like going down and mixing that up with another niche or anything so, Dude, yeah fish sticks there you go fish sticks with ice fishing oh there you go <laughs> he loves fish sticks and is great like my kids loves pickles. somebody better make that all of margaret's <laughs> ideas <laughs> fell, so margaret what, what is what is the side that you prepare with fish sticks macaroni and cheese or something else sometimes mac and cheese but i i my kids have something green on the plate gotcha so either you guys don't watch south park do you no that's a loser show no one watches that well, don't say you love fish sticks. <laughs> All right, everybody in the chat, what what's something where you live that uh, what do they do there? Maybe there's something that a lot of people we got. Don't know. We got fish and chips. We got fish tacos. Yeah, let's be happy. Says Oregon wine tasting, hiking, camping, Shakespeare festivals. Totally, there's so many Shakespeare nuts out there. Oh, and LARPing. Does anyone know what LARPing is? Oh my no, God. what is that? Live action role play. These dudes dress up as like knights and things and they swing swords around. Yeah, it's nuts. I have to be careful yeah, with the tacos. We're going to have a jousting. It's in, it's in May. Here. Oh, a jousting shirt. There you go. They're going to have for real guys. Like, there's like Amer the American League of Jousters. Like it's a thing. And these like jousting dudes are going to come to the museum here and do a big joust. I can't wait. <laughs> Al said cod the cod fathers. That's funny. That's great. That's a good one. <laughs> There's so many things to mix up. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do Codfathers on her. <laughs> really? People do tons of stuff with like God. I bet you I can. I bet you I can do it and get away with it. You'd have to be very careful. You'd have to be careful. Yeah. So Diane Craig says, "I have friends who LARP. It's a blast. That just just the word LARP like makes me laugh." Yeah. See, I had no clue about LARP. So yeah. you there never I go. info about the fish stick shirts. I'm looking it up now. Yeah. I'm looking fish up sticks. Yeah, that that reminds me of being a kid, fish sticks and macaroni. We didn't have we didn't have any greens though. Okay, you both have to Google the South Park fish sticks episode. No. Why don't you just, yes, just why don't you just tell us? Macaroni. No, it, it no, I need to be monetized. Yeah, it's not <laughs> I have to drop the tea bag bomb. It's Kanye West and fish sticks, so <laughs> Oh Just no! I'm gonna make some med medieval fair shirts or something. What else did they do at medieval fairs? Uh, <clears throat> turkey legs, yeah. and there's winches running around kissing people. Yeah, there are cleavages hanging out. Yeah, there's all that stuff. Well, I'm gonna have to go to a. <clears throat> they eat turkey legs. Turkey legs. They drink out of big horns. What the greatest thing about those festivals is the I don't know if they they're called like bums or who are the like the the drunkards that are like all dirty and they're like i don't know what they're called in in medieval times maybe the fool i don't know but those those dudes are crazy fairies no no not not that but fairies like jokesters or something yeah i don't know if it's it is right now because i'm oh my, God, my brain's on fish sticks <laughs> it says Oregon is really into donuts and food carts. Oh, there's a there's an idea of food carts. Hey, if if everyone went up to any of their food carts in their city and said, "Hey, you want to make some shirts?" I bet you you'll find someone that would want some food truck shirts made of their business. Renaissance Fair, that's what it's called. Thank you, Pixie Girl. Renaissance. Two fish sticks shirts up there. Two? 
too. Oh, Margaret, you gotta you gotta double you gotta ten x that stuff. I'm gonna one x that today. <laughs> Wait, let me single term it because I had fish sticks now. Fish stick. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look up turkey legs. Let me see here. Jesters, that's the word. Jesters, dude. Uh, two hundred turkey leg shirts. Okay, there's there's fifteen when they, but they're not all fish sticks. Oh, they're selfie fish stick. <laughs> yeah, I think you can totally corner that market. Definitely. Come on, fish sticks and macaroni. And not even that, just like mix up like unicorn fish stick. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just go crazy. Get the unicorn with the fish stick. <laughs> I mean, come on. There you go. Bad. Fried fish stick. And then there's like a shark gnawing on the fish sticks, corn on the unicorn. You can, so anyone watching, you can hire us for consultation. We'll go, we'll sit live, and we'll just spit ideas at you for an hour for a very low fee of uh, <laughs> 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you though, this weird stuff sells. I mean, I, I you it does. It, and here's the crazy part. Like during the slow times, some of the most craziest things will sell. And you're like, why would someone want to buy this? But then you ask yourself, well, why the hell did I design this? Like, that's the bigger question. <laughs> yeah. I, that, that, it was like a pickle Santa. It was like a pickle with a Santa. And that sold that I made Santa pickle. Oh, Al's got a good one. It says, I spent all my money on AM AMS ads and all I have left are these stupid fish sticks. <laughs> <laughs> there you um, go. Diane says, unicorn spear fishing with his horn. Oh, speaking of, I mean, it's cat. It's Holy Week this week. So like, you know, Good Friday, there's a bunch of religious things with fish. You, you can go down that rabbit hole. I mean, there's lots of ideas. Sure. That be, would that be insensitive to make a cross out of fish sticks? Probably. Yeah, I would say so. Did any of you guys sell any Easter shirts? I did today. You are. I right. sold. I still had one shirt that sold a few times. Jeff, Jeff, did you sell the Jesus in a bunny suit shirt? No, it's in some uh, time. Oh, it is. <laughs> like you didn't put it up. I thought you put it no, up. No, it's up. It's up, but I haven't filmed it. Ah, uh, I see. Yep, I sold two today. I'm a Catholic, and I, I, I love it. <clears throat> I thought it was funny. But my fish stick cross is not. Well, no, no, no. I'm, that's cool too. That's funny too. You, what I'm saying is, I'm very. I have the probably toughest skin you'll ever meet. So someone might really take offense to that for sure. No, this is true. You're right. But at least my pickle manure went over. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sell those? No, but somebody favorited it today on Etsy. <laughs> that's funny. I've had some red bubble sales this week with uh, stickers and things like that. So. That's also a thing. Are you get how how are you guys red bubble sales been? I haven't put not that well. No. Man, I haven't checked red bubble. I have a bunch of designs on there. I haven't checked that in like a month. Yeah, red bubble is a really hard nut to crack for sure. Definitely. I spent weeks trying to upload things and try to figure <laughs> out what works, but it's so random. It's so red bubble is probably the most random sales ever, for sure. I have some shirts on Teespring and like I don't really I'll check it every once in a while, like once a month. I checked it this month. I had I made like thirty two dollars. I was like, yeah, exciting. I'll look now. Yeah, I need to put some more stuff on Redbubble. Oh, Teespring, I have seven dollars ready to pay out. Yes. That's like half a fish stick. I can get a bag of fish sticks for ten bucks. A bag? They sell them in bags around in like boxes? I had to get the big bag. I got kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're like making them buy like uh, the truckload. Yeah, I fill the tray because these kids tear through them. They're yeah. big boys. In our house, it's it's uh, chicken. It's dinosaur nuggets. Dino nuggets. Dino nuggets. Yeah. We don't get a lot of that stuff usually, but. No. My kids definitely wouldn't be into fish sticks at all. My son just started eating salmon. You're forever a gay fish. <laughs> gay fish, gay frog. The water is going to turn the frogs gay. So, what that. are you talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh. You love fish chicks forever, a gay fish. <laughs> I am so lost. Somebody's gonna Yeah, me too. Jeff's being very subliminal. Well, it is at the top of the hour, folks. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> I have to upload some things to Redbubble. I have nothing there. Yes. I'm about yeah. to upload to Redbubble right now. So, okay. <laughs> Al says, anyone else feel hungry watching the show? 
I know I haven't eaten yet today, so I need to. Oh, speaking of which, I'm gonna I'm doing a fast today. I do that every like once in a while, but yeah. So enjoy. Oh, your weren't food. you? Weren't you already doing that? Like, yeah, you did that before already this year or last year, right? Oh yeah. So like maybe like every couple of weeks I'll, I'll do a fast of a day where I don't eat anything, but drink water. And it's, it's really awesome. I mean, it's not for everyone. And today I'm going to try to do a two day one for the first time. And then eventually I want to try to do a seven day one sometime this year. I, I'm a weird, like, like I said, I'm a weirdo. I love pain. I like to, to try to see what the possibilities of my mind and body can achieve. So. And I like cheeseburgers. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, cheeseburger. There are 306 fasting shirts. Left. There you go. There's another great. Uh, Definitely a niche that you can get into. I'm going to make a fasting shirt today. No, just... Do it. <clears throat> fasting mode on, it says. Warning, fasting, right? <clears throat> Cool. You got you got like a you got like a fasting uh, idea I can use so I don't have to think yeah of one. say like don't don't keep keep your hands and feet away from my mouth or something like that yeah. okay <laughs> that can actually go the wrong way too actually never mind I'll make it and then on the next week's show we'll see if it's sold or not so <laughs> All right. sounds good <laughs> something I'll think of something these designs are not good so you could definitely get in there oh that's another thing too is you <clears throat> could go to a niche and the designs are just horrible. Yeah, I'm looking like whoa. No. I'm about to take over the fasting niche. Do it. You got it. It's and some about. of these that aren't good I have sold. <clears throat> oh look, I'm gonna take. I fasted five days and felt amazing. There you go. That's a shirt right there. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I fasted one hour and felt amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's my shirt right there. I fasted I, one I, hour and felt amazing. Thank I've you. done it for almost yeah. two days. And I'll say like the next morning from like 24 hours later, I wasn't hungry. It was the weirdest like feeling. And I had so much energy. It's such, I can't describe, I just can't describe it. It's a weird feeling. Diane said, I'm fasting. See how fast I eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect one. That's a great one right there. Put that, make that. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Okay. That's a great one. Go over oh. there, everybody. Hit the thumbs up button. And I was going to we'll say one thing. Okay, you do that. <clears throat> um, our previous sponsor, I don't know if it's because something we said or whatever, but <laughs> something you said. <laughs> <laughs> they restructured their site in pricing. Yeah. Um, um, was it Merch Design? Merch Jazz Design. <clears throat> they uh, lowered the subscription from fourteen to five. Wow. And they've lowered the pricing of the shirts down to nine. And sales shirts for seven. Yeah. Nice. I was uh, quite surprised because I usually have them up there, and I went up there one day, just yesterday, and there's 437 designs, and I found one I really liked, and I tried to add it in the cart, and it wouldn't work, and so I did a refresh, and then there's only 22 designs up, and all oh the pricing was different. So mm -hmm. he's reloading shirts up slowly, and uh, so yeah, and the ones that are up are pretty damn good. Yes. Let them know we sent you, and then maybe they'll come back and... Yeah, come back. To, you should bug them and say, hey, sponsor hey. us again. Yeah, yeah. Do it today because I want a shirt, and I'd rather not pay for it. <laughs> I'll let them know. I'll let them know. <laughs> I just emailed them saying, yeah, put that shirt back up. I want it. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, go like and subscribe, and click the little bell oh. so you can notify every time Margaret's going to talk about something, jewelry jars or... <laughs> Moving to Austin or whatever the hell else she talks about. She's killing it, man. No one listens to me. Did you ever contact that story about your uh, picture being up there? No. I'll feed you in a second. <laughs> Did you get send them a legit photo? Fish sticks, kid. No, get ready. I'll contact them. Don't give me fish sticks. <laughs> no, they just got some beef jerky. Until you watch them. that video. You're good. You're good. Describe the, the Chris guy. You can look. Watch videos about Bitcoin and steam it and some oh, yeah. stuff. Blockchains. Blockchains. And then Joe talks about merch all the time. Merch you. Subscribe to the Facebook group. That's all I talk about. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's, you got your DJ. Th no, that was on Facebook. Yeah. But yeah, subscribe to us all. Just click the little bell so you get notifications whenever we go up and talk. And Yeah. Oh, and and real quick, <clears throat> um, if 
you're not if you're not on Printful, there's some links below to Margaret's or Jeff's. You can choose. Choose wisely. Sign up for Printful today. <laughs> yeah, and delete the merch list for pro. If we're just gonna throw all our links out at you, you better ten. You better ten x it. <laughs> yes, ten x it. Oh my god, this has been a great show, guys. Thank you. I needed this. Just to let you know, my affiliates on Printful have sold more shirts than ten times more shirts than most of the average seller. Am I your top seller? No, you're not. Ah, sorry. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Great, great. Anyways. <clears throat> Yeah, I have seven under me, and and none have sold. But I, I will. Yet. I will say this: if you are going to sign up for Printful on either one of our links, do something with it. I'm going to go here and look. In I've had uh, eighteen hundred or eighteen hundred clicks. One hundred and thirty-four people have signed up, but only wow. twenty-eight people are active. Wow! That means only twenty-eight people have sold an actual shirt. So do something with it. Don't just let it sit there. It's not hard. You can you can integrate it with Etsy. You can integrate it with eBay. You can do your own WooCommerce uh, website, uh, Amazon. It's easy to do. Easy money. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Don't, don't forget we'll to write. We'll see everybody later. See you later. Bye. Where's my...